Hello friends. Uh, today in this session, we'll be briefing you about the QA section of MyCAT 2023. So I'll first of all start with the overall pattern of MyCAT that uh, we'll get this year. Now MyCAT is divided in three parts. Part one is psychometric test. The weightage is 150 and the duration for this is 30 minutes. Now part two will have four different sections. Verbal ability, 25 questions, quantitative ability, 25 questions, general awareness, 25 questions, and convergent and divergent thinking, having 30 questions. Now, for all these four sections, you will be getting a total of 105 minutes. The third part of this paper is descriptive writing, having a sectional weightage of four and a duration of 30 minutes will be given to you. Now, We'll brief you, we'll uh, talk in detail about the QA section of part number two. All right. Now, the marking scheme of this paper is for every correct answer, you will get plus one. And for every wrong answer, you will get minus 0.25. Now, this marking scheme holds true for only the second part. All right. Now, if I look at the different areas that we need to focus in quantitative ability, so starting from arithmetic, algebra, geometry to permutation combination, modern mathematics, set theory, each and everything is being asked in this examination. Now, obviously, the level of difficulty is not as high as uh, what we see in IFT or CAT or uh, ZAT for that matter. The level of difficulty will be on a lower side and you will be easily able to attempt each of the question of quant in an average of 45 seconds to 60 seconds. Now, all the areas are written in front of you on your screen from which we have seen questions appearing in MyCAT examination over the past few years. Now, obviously, the most important area has always been arithmetic. So if I talk about arithmetic, then starting from percentages and its applications in profit and loss, simple interest, compound interest. These may be the part of uh, quant section. Then ratios and its applications in averages, mixtures and allegations. These may be the part of this. Time, speed, distance and time and work are another important areas, right? Now in geometry, we have seen questions coming from trigonometry as well. So other than normal geometry, like uh, the applications of triangles, the concepts of circles and so on and so forth, you can expect questions from trigonometry as well as you can expect questions from two dimensional and three dimensional mensuration, right? There have been instances when we have seen questions from statistics based on the concept of mean, median mode coming here. Okay. Also, if I talk about algebra, then you will not find very difficult questions coming from algebra in this paper. Now, from algebra, uh, topics like linear equations, quadratic equations, uh, uh, this will cover majority of the questions. If at all, the questions will come from algebra, right? So you need to study all these things overall. Also, number systems is a very important part of uh, QA section of this paper. Now, other than quant, this section has also seen the questions from data interpretation. So single chart or maximum two chart questions may appear, which will involve some basic amount of calculations uh, involving percentages, the calculations based on percentages, approximation techniques, some basic multiplication and so on and so forth. So if you have a very basic practice of the questions of data interpretation, then you'll be able to easily attend the questions. But since this examination is an examination of speed as well, so it will be better for you if you'll do a good amount of practice before you actually get into this paper. All right. So the practice about uh, all these areas, the practice for the questions of data interpretation is must before you take this examination. Now I'll show you some sample questions. Today we'll not be solving these questions. I'll be conducting various sessions on quantitative ability. I have already conducted them. So I'll be giving you some sample questions that I've picked up from the official website of uh, MyCAT. Okay. So some of the questions based on linear equations having one or two variables, the questions which are based on ages, 
some very easy type of questions have appeared also the questions based on set theory right set theory means two set or three set venn diagram so the question that you can see here is a question of a three set venn diagram all right and then next type of question based on the averages so very basic question it is if you have the basic knowledge of averages then you will be able to do this question in less than a minute okay so these are some sample questions using which uh, you can basically give a proper direction to the preparation for my cat examination so friends all the very best for this examination make sure that you are doing proper revision of each and everything there is descriptive writing as well as in this examination so do a proper practice in case you are wanting a call from my cat this year so all the very best for your preparation as well as the examination bye bye